finally died. This is a story about spirit. Against all odds, she has persevered. Laverne Baker is credited with putting the rhythm and rhythm and blues. And as New England Cable News reporter Scott Yunt tells us, the woman who laid the groundwork for rock and roll is looking for a new start. When they talk about the originators of rock and roll, don't let them fool you. She was instrumental in creating R&B music in America. Laverne Baker's crossover hit, Tweedledee, paved the way for Chuck Berry, The Platters, and Little Richard. Rock Around the Clock wasn't even recorded when she broke through in 1955. The feeling is good. It's still, it's still there. 67-year-old Laverne Baker still works the jazz and blues clubs. At this packed benefit show just outside Boston, she tore it up for more than 700 people, helping to raise thousands of dollars for the mentally retarded. Yet she, herself, is in need. Two strokes forced her to relearn even the lyrics to her songs, Diabetes cost her both legs. A lot of people are like, not me, I'm, I'm pushing, trying to, you know, do I go do my concerts and, you know, and everything. I don't, I don't care if I can walk like, like this, as long as I stand up. It has now been two years, but Laverne insists she will walk again. We will see you back here. We'll try them on. Uh -huh. Have you try to stand up and see how you do. Oh, okay? Great. All right. Okay. Even though I'm in this wheelchair, I still, I feel what I'm working, you know? I feel what I'm doing, you know? So you got, it's a part of you. At Spalding Hospital in Boston, doctors are confident they can help. Prosthetic legs would cost $10,000, not covered by her insurance. And unable to afford them on her own, she had all but given up. I'm going to send you over to my facility, mm -hmm. and we'll go to work on it. All right. Okay. So I got me a new boy. Yeah. United Prosthetics in Boston will give Laverne new legs. Yeah, I'll be doing the boogaloo, baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, sitting down wondering what it's all about if you don't have no money they will put you out oh, you gotta do right baby like other men do Laverne is her own institution her sultry voice was her ticket Born in Chicago in 1929, she sang blues as a teen. It's just like your blood. Eventually, she landed a contract with Atlantic Records, shared stages like the Apollo with people like Louis Armstrong. Alan Freed's rock and roll television show put her in a national spotlight. Unfortunately, Laverne Baker's story is not unusual. Like so many other black artists of the 1950s, her songs were copied, stolen really, and called rock and roll. She was largely forgotten. Still, Laverne Baker, is not bitter. You have to feel maybe sort of cheated in a way because they Oh yes, but it's it's just, but that's that's water over the bridge, baby. It's gone. You know, you can't cry over it. You just try to do better what you can now and do better now than what you can do because you know better now. Laverne has never looked back. She went to Vietnam and the Philippines to entertain troops in the 60s. We largely forgot her for 20 years until she moved back to New York in the late 80s. By 1991, her recordings landed her in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I said, oh, praise God, isn't it wonderful, you know, to think, to think of people love you that long, that long and how much, you know. It's like with my concert now, even with the wheelchair, I have so many standing ovations. You know, the people are so wonderful. Like the Martino family. Like Pop, like son. <laughs> who are donating the legs. She's a lady who wants. Um, she deserves. It's difficult for you or I to say what these people can do and can't do. In a lot of cases, we've been surprised by what amputees, despite their age or their disabilities, have done. The hospital here, they found out they're going to give me two legs. So I'm going to be there. And Laverne Baker intends to walk. Scott Young to New England Cable News, Boston. What a spirit. And that will do it for this edition of Primetime. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you the latest news, weather, and sports from around New England and the world. I'm Margie Reedy, and this is New England Cable News.